I'm always looking for value when it comes to smart home tech. I want the best possible experience for the cheapest possible price. I know I don't ask for a lot, but one brand that hasn't been on my radar before when it comes to robot vacuum cleaners is EasyViz. That's until now, anyway. This is the RE4 Plus, and it really does offer some of the best value in robot vacuum cleaners that I've come across, to the point that you're not going to believe when I tell you the price later on in the episode, of course. Now, EasyBase have always been a smart home company that have had my attention, especially in the security camera niche, because they offer some of the most variety in styles of security cameras that I've ever seen from a company before. Back at IFA late last year, I visited their booth, and it was particularly astounding to see the variety of camera solutions that they had all in one place. But more astounding was some of their other smart home solutions that I wasn't particularly aware of at the time. And the ones that caught my eye were their robot vacuum cleaner lineup. They had a ton of cool stuff with some really interesting innovations. But when I found out the price of the RE4+, Plus, I just had to take a look and see how well it performed. Now, in respect to design, there's nothing that really obviously stands out as being different. It largely follows the same recipe that we've come to expect from robot vacuum cleaners. It's got a slim profile with a rounded design and a large contact plate on the front and a LiDAR scanner on the top. Now, the LiDAR scanner allows for more advanced mapping, and for me, it's an absolute essential feature, but one you'd normally find on much more expensive robots. The job of the LiDAR scanner essentially pulses invisible beams of light around to generate a map of the house, which allows it to navigate easier and detect obstacles rather than just slamming into everything to work out where things are. Put it this way, I would never go back to a robot without a LiDAR scanner. Anyway, the underneath also doesn't look too dissimilar from the standard recipe. However, this is where we start to see some really cool design choices from EasyViz. Interestingly, they've gone for a single brush on the front, possibly to cut down slightly on the cost, but they have upgraded this brush with a feature that I wish all robot vacuum cleaners had, and that's an upwards facing brush attached to the brushing mechanism. This stops a load of the buildup of rubbish and helps keep this mechanism clean and in turn means that it requires a lot less intervention. I find that regular style brushes need to be cleaned out once every other week, whereas this design seems to cut that down by quite a bit. It's a really simple addition that makes a hell of a big difference. Now, other than this, it's got some considerable size wheels with a hell of a lot of suspension in it. In fact, probably some of the most suspension travel I've seen on a RoboVac before, which means it should be able to traverse over quite considerable undulations and differences in floor or carpet heights. Of course, we aren't at a point where they can quite yet get up the stairs by themselves just yet, but when testing, it seems to have no issue going over large bumps or even large cable runs on the stone floor, which is pretty good. Now, the main brush seems to be made quite well too, with a good combination of brush and rubber paddles to help to pick up things like hair. These rubber fins seem to extend quite a bit out of the actual robot itself, which is a good design to help pick up more hair. I and mean, you can see a bit of hair on the brush there. So although it looks similar to many I've tested, it does have these subtle little design differences that make quite a big difference. And it all lands up to a particularly good vacuum experience. When starting up the device for the first time, it'll build a map in the EasyViz app, and once you've done, you're left with a floor plan of your house. Now, it divides rooms up automatically for you, but if it gets it wrong, which it might do, you can merge and divide spaces to help target certain areas, which comes in handy if you want to do things like custom cleaning regimens, such as vacuuming high traffic areas, such as corridors, twice on the same run. Now, this can all be customized within the app and can then be paired up to Alexa and Google Home for smart home control. As for cleaning, you can run it around a specific room, specific area, or set it on a full cleaning cycle. And for this, you can then decide what strength you'd like to vacuum at. Obviously, this will change how loud the device is. But as for the cleaning experience, on maximum setting, it's particularly competent and methodical, covering the edges and then covering the middle of the floors in a backwards and forwards motion. I found some more modern vacuum cleaners with sensors tend to be less methodical. They're getting more 
intelligent, but that's causing problems because they're missing places out. This just seems to have a really nice methodical cleaning method. I'm really quite happy about that. And it does seem to pick up a good amount of dust, dirt, and even heavier particles, as you can see right now, without much issue, even with just a single side brush. And that's thanks to its pretty powerful 4,000 Pascal suction and well-optimized main brush with kind of dangle down fins. Now, it's not just capable of vacuuming, it's also capable of mopping through a simple attachable mopping pad plate with water supplied by the reservoir situated at the rear of the robot, which actually hides another little secret design. Now, normally in robots like this, you have a separate water container and a separate dust container that you remove individually. With this one, it's actually got both built into the same unit, which was a bit of a surprise. But after some consideration, I actually think that it makes a load of sense. In other models we've tested, where the reservoir has been separate to the dust collection, they're both held in by clips and mounts and other gubbins, and a load of extra space is taken up within the robot vacuum cleaner to accommodate separate removable containers. With this, because it's all built in together, they've been able to make the dust collector and the reservoir slightly bigger because there's less space taken up in the robot itself to accommodate for the two separate containers. You can still separate these two for cleaning and maintenance, but they clip back together for remounting. And I think this is a really well-designed piece of this experience. And it's really well engineered to increase the capacity of the containers. So just on the robot alone, there's a ton of small little details that I love, and they all add up to a really positive experience. But perhaps surprisingly, one of my favorite little detail designs is actually in a place that you'll never ever look unless you need to, and that's under the base station. Now, the RE4 Plus comes with a self-emptying base station that has a capacity of four liters that the robot will empty itself in after, after every run. And by the way, when it does empty itself, it is quite loud because that thing sucks all of the dirt out of this and into the station. Start auto collecting dust. So if you do run this in the morning, that's going to wake up you, your neighbours and everyone in the village three miles away. This station in itself looks a little innocuous with a simple lid and sleek white lines, but tipping it over reveals something that probably only a middle-aged father will find interesting. The entire suction channel has been built with a removable transparent plastic channel. Now, in many self-empty base stations that I've tried, although this hasn't been a frequent event at all, wherever there's been a blockage, I usually end up rummaging around in the holes and tubes quite a bit with a bit of wire, completely blind, trying to fish out whatever is causing the blockage, whatever toy or clog of hair or children's sock without actually being able to see inside the tubes themselves. This is a royal pain in the bum. But on the RE4 Plus, the fact that this channel is completely transparent makes it so much easier to examine for any blockages. And I really do have to give them a big round of applause for this simple yet super effective design. Yes, okay, like I've said, blockages are a very rare occurrence on base stations, so you might not even come to appreciate this at all, but if you do end up needing it, you'll be thanking the gods for this awesome little piece of design, which to my knowledge, no other robot vacuum base station has had before. And I think this is the big thing about this particular device. It has a ton of small design tweaks to the regular recipe that go a long way in creating a better overall experience. Whether that's being able to clean better with its well-designed brush or being more maintenance-free with its self-cleaning side brush or being easier to diagnose problems with its transparent channel. Almost every bit of this robot has been engineered and designed to make your life easier. And isn't that supposed to be the point of robot vacuum cleaners? You know, I dread the days where you set a RoboVac off only to have a push notification sent to my phone with errors and blockages and problems and it's lost or it's dying or whatever. For people like me who spend a long time at work, the last thing I want to do is come home to my wife, kids and dogs and then spend time trying to detangle a robot vac or rummage around tubes trying to find blockages. So the fact that EasyViz have made some small but great steps towards a much more self-sufficient experience 
It means for me it'll fit a lot better with the lives of busy families like mine because I'll be spending a lot less time troubleshooting. And when it's 4 litre self-emptying station, it really is a largely maintenance-free product for months of use. But as always, I like to discuss what could have been done better. And one thing that I'm still not a fan of is the mopping system. Now, this isn't necessarily limited to just easy viz. I've said before in almost every episode with this plate style mopping system that I'm just not a big fan of it. On one hand, it's great that they've included this mopping system and there's nothing wrong with it per se. It does the job it's intended to do, providing your environment is best suited for it. So for example, smooth floors that are generally clean, but living in the countryside with two kids, two massive dogs that trample mud and dirt and grime everywhere with great big stone floors, they generally don't perform as well as I'd like. But there are two other reasons for not liking this type of mop. The first is that I have to manually attach the mop and then fill up the reservoir if I want to mop with it which means there's more interaction with my robot vacuum cleaner than I would like. I just want to have it in a corner and it just do its thing like a unseen servant. And the second thing is since experiencing more advanced mopping systems like that you can find on their RS2 model, which features great big spinning mop heads that wash themselves, it's kind of pretty hard to like anything else. Of course, this is going to be largely personal preference. And if you have a house that's predominantly carpet, you won't really benefit from the more advanced system on the RS2. So it makes more sense for EasyViz to offer this as a cheaper option. I mean, let's face it here. It's better than the wet wipes that SwitchBot used in their K10 vac. Hmm. Ultimately, you can see that it's been a bit of a balancing act for EasyViz here, including this style of mopping and only one side brush. It's kind of a happy medium between cost and features, and that's a big factor in the price, because this comes in at its RRP of just 399 which is good, but when I checked on Amazon, this was down to 299 effectively making this one of the best value self-emptying robot vacuum cleaners that I've ever come across. There are not many that can offer this level of feature set at this price range. Obviously, I don't know what the price at the time of this review is going to be, so make sure you hit that link in the description to check out its latest price. But even if it's not on discount, I still love the little bits of design that makes the RE4 Plus shine. And for me, this has been a great first experience with EasyViz's lineup of robot vacuum cleaners. And I'm genuinely considering taking a look at their more advanced mopping lineup in the RS2 just to see if it meets my expectations that the RE4 has set for me. What do you think? Do you think EasyViz have gotten this one right? Let me know what you think of the RE4 Plus in the comments below. And as always, I'll stick around for the next hour or so answering all of your comments. So do drop down there and say hello. But other than that, guys, if you're new here, make sure you hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you back in another episode of Stu's Reviews soon.